Hi guys, it's your girl Danny DQ checking in. What's up with you guys? How have you been? So today I have a really cute look for you guys. I decided to come up with like a nice little rainbow look. I don't know why, but I was like, you know what? I'm feeling really rainbowy and I want to do something with heck of colors. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is really, really bad. So... <laughs> Don't clown me when I show you. <laughs> so it's the BH Cosmetics, the 120 color palette. And this is why I said don't judge me because I broke this. I've had this for some time and I broke it in half. <laughs> but I love this palette only because it has like two tiers and it has like a lot of colors in it. So this is the first tier here. This is the second tier. And this tier literally has like all the colors that you can think of, like all the basic colors that you can think of. Like when I ordered this palette, it was literally probably like a couple years ago and I was just started getting into makeup and someone was like, you know, you should look into BH Cosmetics. It's really cheap, very pigmented. So I was like, okay, cool, you got me. So I ordered this palette and I love it, hence why I still have it. So today I'm going to be using this palette to create this look and then I'm also going to be using some glitter and the glitter that I use is from MAC Cosmetics and this is in iridescent white. But I do want to thank you guys really quick for watching my videos and supporting me on all forms of social media whether it's YouTube here, Instagram, um, Facebook. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But enough rambling, let's get into the look. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows like I always do off camera. Um, I set my eyes this time with concealer rather than that Max Eye Primer. And then I just set it with like some powder. So I'm gonna see how it turns out and how it blends this go round. Um, but the first color we're gonna go in with is gonna be this pink here. And actually what I might do, I might have like a little picture of like this palette. And then probably like try to put a star on the color. So I have to keep lifting the palette up so you can see the color. So I'll probably just put a picture of it up. So we're just going to go in with that pink. <laughs> I'm just going to use this brush here. And it looks like I have to pick up a lot of color. So we're going to go back in. I have my crown case palette on deck just in case if I don't have any colors in here that I like or if something happens and I need to like kind of change it. I forgot to turn my phone on silent because I know I will be getting notifications. But I'm keeping it here because I connected my camera to my phone. I didn't know I could do that and press pause and play. Well, stop and play. But I just connected it, so now I'm going to be doing that from now on. Okay, so now after I put that pink color there, what we're going to do is kind of do like that rainbow look. And then I'm going to start from the outside inwards. And then I'm going to go in with... Um, some purple and then I'll just put that in on the camera like I told you guys I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use my Lexi brush it's just like a 231 small blending brush I knew some noise was gonna pop up I knew some noise was gonna go off it's okay it's just my Bluetooth because I was listening to music earlier I'll turn that off too all right so I thought put that purple in it's gonna go right above that and blend a little bit in there. And then I've noticed I have to do a lot more blending. Like apply a lot more color just to get it there.
All right, now after the purple, I'm gonna hold the brush to the side because of course I said we're gonna do a lot of work blending these colors in because I don't want any harsh lines or anything. So I'm gonna put that aside and then I'm gonna go in with another small blending brush. And I'm gonna use my Morphe 411 brush. And then after the purple, because we're gonna do Roy G. Biv. I might not do the red, I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but we're gonna do Roy G. Biv, so at the violet. And go. So blue. <laughs> the fact that I just had to do that was like insane. But we're gonna go on with blue. I don't know if I wanna do a dark blue or a light blue. Um, let's go in. I'm gonna use a light blue. And then you kinda wanna just put most of that product on the tip of the brush. And then we're gonna go in right after that purple. This is a little frosty, honey. Hold on. I'm gonna add this here just because I have to do the same thing on the other side. But I think I kind of want to go in with another color. I'm gonna go back in with that purple. We don't want that purple to disappear. And blend that back in with the blue. I'm gonna be using quite a few brushes with this look here. Cause we're gonna keep coming back to the look. Now that I put that in, I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I used the blue in. I'm gonna clean off some of that color because I feel like this blue is a little, a little too frosty. So I'm just gonna use a matte blue. And I'm gonna go over it just a little bit. There we go. I just want it to be a little darker, not too much darker though. And y'all know since I have hooded lids, like <laughs> it's falling directly on my eyelids. Okay, go back in with that purple again. Putting that out. All right, so now we are going to go to green. So I know the green's gonna have to be like super, super concentrated because green like never shows up on me except for that palette that I just used from the previous video. But. I don't want to use that palette this video. And then we're going to take that green. And then we're going to go right after the blue. And I don't want too much of the green to show, so I'm only going to put like a little bit in that area. And then now I'm gonna go in with yellow and then orange. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the red. Cause I feel like red is just gonna be, yeah, the red that I have in here is like a little too dark. So I'm not gonna go in with red on this look. So, so for the yellow, I'm gonna use 
my Luxie 235 brush. And I'm gonna dip that in. Because with this palette, like the yellows don't show up, like at all. So, I'm gonna have to go in double time with this. There we go. There we go. You guys probably like, this girl look like Ronald me now. And then after the yellow, I'm gonna go on with the orange. And for the orange, I'm gonna use I just washed my brushes, so I have a lot of choices to choose from. So I'm just gonna use my BH Cosmetic brush here. And this is just a small blending brush as well. I think it's number seven. Yeah, it's number seven, I just don't know the name of it. I just know it's like a small blending brush. Okay, so we're gonna go on with the orange. I'm just there off, because what I have on now is white and black stripes. And I don't need none of this to be going on my clothes. Cool. Actually, I think I might. No, I'm not gonna go with the with the red. I think this yellow is enough. So now I'm just gonna go in with all of my brushes that I use to kind of like blend out those colors. Then we're gonna go back in with that same brush that we used for the pink. And we're gonna blend the bottom of that pink out into the color that we used. Okay. Got a rainbow on my eyelid. Rainbow on my eyelids. All right, so now I'm just gonna clean up my lids again. And to cut that, I'm just gonna go in with, which color do I use? Should I use the same color? Yeah, I'm gonna use the same color. All right, so I'm gonna use the Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. So this was our light bright sister that we used earlier. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a flat blending brush, my favorite brush of them all. And this is from Morphe, the M432 brush. The only thing about this brush is that it's not like hecka hecka thin. I think what I should try to purchase one day is the, um, a painter's brush so that I can have a lot more precision. All right, so I'm gonna just take it and cut it right here. Okay, so yes, I went ahead and did this off camera because I was like literally trying to focus to get this as even as I could. Like this here is kind of like algebra. Like it's literally algebra. Like you have to figure out like your angles, everything. So I did off camera, which is cool. Because you guys all pretty much know how to clean up your own eyelids. So we're going to move forward. Alright, so after I went ahead and cleaned that up, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a color into my outer crease. Only because, like, I wanted to go in with glitter today. But I don't want glitter, like, all over my eyelids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that same pink that we used. 
I'm gonna go back in with that pink and that purple. And then we're gonna blend it in the outer corners. And you want to try to get rid of the harsh concealer line as much as you can because we're going to clean this up anyway. What I really do need to invest in though is, um, what are they called? I think they're called shadow guards. I think I need to invest in that because like the amount of fallout from the amount of colors that I be using on my eyelids. Like, I just think it'll just be like a really good investment. So now what I'm just doing is going back over with the colors that I have up here. So that blue, the green, that yellow and that orange, I'm just gonna go back over it. Just so I don't use, like, don't let those colors like disappear too, too much. Okay. So this is cool because I'm going to clean this up with concealer since I don't have shadow guards right now. But as far as our eyelids goes right here, we're going to put um, the glitter in it. And the glitter that we're going to be using is from MAC. Can't really see like the color, but this one is in iridescent white. Okay. Now, normally you guys know I use my NYX glue for my glitter. However, Last night, I had a revelation from Miss Princess Bella. Yes, Miss Carla. I seen her doing a fabulous look that I really want to try to recreate like one day, but it's just not going to be today. But um, I seen her recreate a look and it was like really, really bomb. And what she used for her glitter, it was the duo glue, but it was the one that had the wand. I don't have the one that has the wand and I'm kind of like skeptical if like if it's gonna turn out the same but we just gonna make it do what it do I'm just gonna put a napkin right here because last time I tried to test it out it like literally fell all over my floor so if I'm looking down right now it's because I need to get this glue out it is very liquidy so I'm like heck of nervous yeah, it's hella liquidy. But I guess it'll kind of stick better, right? Wait. Right? I don't know. This is like nerve wracking to me. Okay, I'm gonna let that get tacky and then I'm gonna do the other eye for now because with glitter I move like really fast. So this one is drying down so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my glitter to that eye. Burn. I can't pick it up. I can't like open it. Yeah, this is definitely why she uses this glue. I was trying to figure out like why she uses this glue, but this thing dried down super quick. All right, so I'm just gonna use my Morphe 204 brush, dip it into the glitter. And then pat that all over. The fallout, honey, the fallout is real.
Okay. So what I realized why she used this glue is that it's tackier than the NYX glitter glue. And it holds a lot better. Like, I don't know if also too, because I did the crease a lot higher this go round rather than just doing it on my lids. Like, I have nothing like, I don't have like an overlay. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys with hooded lids, you know what I'm talking about. Like, so this method is a lot better in my opinion. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more here. Okay. And you guys know I have to add a little bit more color with that glitter in where that pink meets. And then I'm gonna go in with the same brush I used for the purple. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how I put my concealer on to clean it up. But as far as like finishing the rest of my face, you guys know I'm gonna do that off camera just to save some time. But I'm gonna take that concealer. I'm gonna start all the way to the front and swoop it all the way here. So just as if we had shadow guards. I'm gonna sweep it all the way here. I'm gonna do thing, the same thing with the other eye. Okay, yeah. It's even. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit, get a little tacky, tacky, yaki, yaki. And I think I will add eyeliner for this look. So of course I'm gonna go in with my NYX Vino Liquid Liner. And I need you guys' help because I heard through the grapevine that they're getting rid of this eyeliner. And I love this eyeliner so much. So like, what other eyeliner should I get? Like, what's a really good liquid eyeliner that show up really black? Like, really, really, really black. And it's kind of easy to work with. Because I like this because it's easier to work with, in my opinion. Because y'all know I'm not the best with eyeliner, honey. So I need something that's gonna be easy. Don't mind me, I'm just taking the, um, the glitter off of my freaking eyelashes because they pick up everything. All right, so I'm gonna go put my liner on. I'm gonna put my lashes on, which are of course from Coco Lashes, but these are actually Monroe's that I'm wearing today. I don't think I've ever shown you guys Monroe's. These are really cute. And this is how it looks. Let me bring it back a little bit. Now, like this? Yeah, like that. Ooh, look at that. So this is the lashes that I'm gonna be putting on today. So, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I'm back. This is the look. I'm feeling it, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. I didn't think I was gonna like it <laughs> as much as I like it right now, like, this is really a wave right here, like, what? <laughs> okay, but the lip that I use is a combination of Max Liner, and this is in Cyber World, and then I also use a liquid lip. It was a trial when I went to BeautyCon. Was it BeautyCon? Generation Beauty, not BeautyCon. It was Generation Beauty, it was a trial from Jouer. It's a liquid lip that I use in the inside of my lip instead of the outside because I use the lip liner. And I'll let you guys know what shade it is in the description box because I dropped it. <laughs> but so you guys know how I feel about lashes and liner. Like it literally completes the look. But 
give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribing on your way out and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss an upload so it's your girl daddy dq and i'm checking out bye